in Wikipedia, retrieved today from n.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash Mount Laguna, California. Mount Laguna is described as the region located east of San Diego. The region is approximately 6,000 feet above sea level in the eastern edge of the Cleveland National Forest. Some of the features of this area contains a general store, rustic lodge with cabins, a local restaurant, rural post office, and campgrounds. The area receives snowfall during the winter snow months as late as March and April of this year. The last time I was at Mount Laguna was during April of this year. During that time, there was heavy snowfall throughout Mount Laguna and Julian, California. While I was there, I toured some of the mountain roads, including Kitchen Creek Road and Pine Creek Road. This week, I will be visiting this area again. Throughout my visit, I will be taking photos and writing about the area in the new blog that I created at www.mccabecousins.com slash blog dot htm. My writings of this area will include the wildlife and nature from early morning until well into dusk. I encourage you to visit my blog at www.mccabecousins.com slash blog dot htm and read about my findings there. I will describe the incredible views and the quiet evenings. It is really quite a surreal setting. Towards the east of Mount Laguna is Anza Borrego Desert State Park. In Wikipedia retrieved today from n.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash Anza Borrego Desert State Park. Anza Borrego State Park is described as a region that develops the Borrego Springs and Shelter Valley. The area is located east of San Diego, and it spans across Imperial and Riverside County. Anza Borrego is a combination of the name of Juan Batista de Anza, an 18th century Spanish explorer, and uh, the word sheep written in Spanish. At the same time, when I was at Mount Laguna, I also drove across parts of Anza Borrego, including through Ranchilla and Octillo Wells, both unincorporated communities in San Diego. I also visited Culp Valley Primitive Campground, a small camping area past Ranchita with fire pits, and a bathroom. I also visited Mesquite Oasis, a small area located south of Scissors Crossing, and which includes the Mud Caves. In Wikipedia, retrieved today from n.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash mud caves, 
Mud caves are described as caves that were created when the water flowed throughout an area that contains salt. Some of these caves are as long as 300 meters and as tall as 24 meters. The cave includes Big Mud Cave, Hidden Cave, Chasm Cave, Carrying Big Mud Cave, Plunge Pool Cave, and Dip Slope Cave. I will be touring these areas and writing about them in my blog at www.mccabecousins.com slash blog dot htm. In addition, I will be posting photos and videos of the area on my blog as well. If you are interested in learning more about these areas, please bookmark my blog at www.mccabecousins.com slash blog.htm and share the blog along with this video with your friends and family. This tour will happen this week starting Wednesday and will last for about five days. In addition, I plan to revisit the area in the next month and writing more about this area.